Hey everyone, welcome back to Liquid Lunch. I'm your guest host for today, Lauren Conlon. And joining us now is model, actress, and super mom, Zen Sams. Hey, Zen. Hi, girl. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. I see you're holding down the fort for Mr. Tobacco. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying very hard right now. Hopefully everybody is is uh, going to be nice to me today. <laughs> A great job. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Fabulous. So, you are a mom. Our, our daughters are actually the same age. We've bonded over this. I don't know if you've actually watched Cuties or, or you know, because some people are saying, I'm not going to watch that garbage. I watched it just so I could see what everybody was talking about and, and what the hype was about. So did you have a chance to watch it? Oh, yeah. You did. Okay. okay. And, and tell me your thoughts. Uh, okay. So before we get into my thoughts, because then I'm just going to go off on a tangent. Let's, let's backtrack. Um, people... <laughs> Separate of my thoughts and your thoughts, we're also talking about the people. And people are demanding that viewers boycott the Netflix, the release of this French movie that appeared, you know, that appeared at Sundance that Netflix purchased. Now, let's be clear. Netflix didn't produce this. They were they are not the ones that created the story. They acquired the story as a result of it showing at Sundance. Um, and because of all the noise that we've, we've that's leading up to right now, and there's been a lot mm. of noise, the movie has gotten so much attention and it's not the attention we wanted this movie to get. It was quite the opposite. We wanted this to be, you know, boycott the film, have them take it down because in my opinion, and here's where I will slightly withhold before I just go off on this tangent, it is exploitation, especially child. This is borderline child pornography. This is soft porn. I agree. You have 11 year old girls grinding. This isn't music. This isn't dance. This isn't art. This is what it is, it's disgusting. And Netflix should have done some due diligence or should have at least have done the research to, number one, understand where the motivation was behind the, the producers and the directors, let alone putting this young of an age and putting together this, this superstar group of 11-year-old girls. Right. Yeah, no, you're right. And I don't know, I don't know if you saw, but Netflix actually put out a statement and it was not an apology after the movie came out. And they actually, they're standing by the film and they're saying this is award-winning, this is powerful, and this documents the pressures that young girls face on social media. And I was very confused because I was just like, okay, well, if you're going to do this, then why wouldn't you hire like 25-year-old girls to play high school girls? Because if that's the whole point of the film... That wouldn't hurt, but but what they did was sneaky. They did this eleven year old girl thing. Yeah, the movie focuses on a group of eleven year old girls, and it's the sensitivity about the age why they did it. Right, and they they used actual minors to do this, and we'll we'll go one step further in a little bit from from the legal perspective because from the production side, and I have a lot of experience in the production side. As you know, my husband is a a very prominent film producer, Romulus Entertainment, his name is Brad Feinstein, and we talk about the legalities of a lot of, you know, when you have child stars on a movie set, there's a lot of implications, a lot of opinions. This movie has probably violated a gazillion laws already. It wasn't shot here in the U.S., it was abroad. Right. Separate of that, when you go into, when you look under the hood and you start to ask, you know, is this, can you legally, you know... A movie is, is, are you legally endorsing child pornography Netflix and you're asking them flat out right? You can pull some basic statute laws that are, that, that are not just in, you know, one state, but are pretty universal. And right. using, employing, uh, persuading, enticing, inducing, or coercing yeah. a minor to engage in or assist others to engage in exploitive behavior of others. It, there's a whole right. list. It's called sexual misconduct. And then you have imagery. You have these girls lifting literally lifting their shirts and one girl you see her her breasts and she's 11 years old that right there that's With permitting trouble. a minor yeah that's to watch and any any person any adult person of a right mind and i will say this and and i can get attacked for this i don't care because if you have if you are in your right mind there is no way you can watch this and not feel uncomfortable or not feel just a sense of like you're doing something wrong in watching this. And I, I had compared this to a film, um, Feel the Beat on Netflix, which is, I don't know if you saw that or your daughter saw that, but that one was about um, these girls who win a dance competition. It's with Donna Lynn Champlin and Sophia Carson from The Descendants. That film, I was like, it's almost the same exact thing, but I 
felt happy watching that film. It was not inappropriate. It was not disgusting. Um, and, and again, it's like we talked about, it didn't objectify young girls in these tiny little outfits and also the sexual undertones in every single scene. I think some of the dialogue made me uncomfortable. The girls talking about rape and sex in the, in the girls' bathroom. I mean, I had said when I was 11, I think I believed in Santa Claus. I don't know. I mean, so this is- well, Definitely the innocence here is, is being stripped. And, you know, to, to put this up on the platform, this just adds fuel to every sexual predator and every pedophile out there is just going like this. And to have yeah. a platform like Netflix stand behind it and and really push the, the Academy Award uh, side of it is, is mind-boggling because right. there's nothing awardsy about this movie. It's troubling. Mm -hmm. Maybe the story, you know, here's the deal. The story was poorly executed because it could have been told and could have been done in a way that was more tasteful, that did not involve Wait, older girls. Like I said, with 25-year-olds or 30-year-olds even that can play high school girls. 19-year-olds that, that look, you know, a little bit younger. It's called exactly. acting. Yeah. To employ a minor to use sexual imagery and, mm -hmm. and have that imagery being sold, you know, as a result, you're going to have some legal implications here. And I don't know how they dodge this bullet, but there's going to be, uh, there's going to be some, you know, uh, some people. Yeah. Can fight. No, I, I, a hundred percent, hundred percent agree. I, it's, it's, it's definitely, um, made me, uh, like you said, a little more aware of Hollywood lately. And, and again, you know, you're in entertainment, I'm in entertainment from, you know, a different corner of the room, but it's made me more aware of like the double standard here with, um, with what's going on with the child trafficking. I mean, and the, the, director, the director of this movie, it was directed by Maymouma Dukoule, who was, she's received death threats after Netflix's debacle with the promotional poster. And then they switched yeah. the promotional poster and it was a little bit more soft, if you will. But, sure, sure. but the promotion, but the poster is misleading because you're, you know, you're being sold this vision of these, you know, kids that love dance and then getting to this mm. under, under the covers of it's basically soft porn and it needs right. to come down. It needs to be removed. I yes, agreed. And now again, speaking of um, child trafficking and pedophilia, so Jeffrey Epstein, um, I think the Attorney General in the U.S. Virgin Islands is now demanding these flight logs dating back to like 1993 or something like that to yes go ahead no no you're right oh, oh yeah you literally took the words right out of my mouth these flight logs are uh, are going to make a lot of people very mad and you know while a number of epstein flight logs have already been made public and poured over um including a, a batch that a pilot david rogers produced in 2009 mm. a newly requested subpoena like you said from the governor of, of the of the island and yeah. from Ghislaine Maxwell. They this she's also requesting subpoenas. Um, the records have been subpoenaed and they're they're basically gonna make the ones that this pilot provided look like a post-it note because there's going to be a panic among many of the rich and famous. Yeah. And it is going to implode. And and Ghislaine is now seeking more flight logs for Epstein from four helicopters in and three planes from 1998 to 2019. So what she's doing now, she's going on the mm. offense, right? Yeah. She's now right. going to implicate everybody under the sun. Anybody mm -hmm. that she can take down with her, she will, and she's going to use that to her advantage. Right, so and I, I was wondering, I, I'm thinking here, what is she doing right now? It's been completely quiet with everything that has to do with this lane. So my whole feeling is, is she's just talking. She's yapping, yapping, yapping. And with these flight logs and her talking, I think that um, it's only a matter of time before it's going to be well known who the most prolific pedophiles in Hollywood are well, as these flight logs. His international travel has remained a subject of focus because both of the crimes that he committed uh, took place aboard his aircraft on and right. with high profile names, Clinton and Prince Andrew. So, you know, right, they, right. they've turned up in flight logs. And now there's this leaked Jeffrey Epstein flight log that shows a list of celebrities, including, you know, Beyonce. Sure. That's a yeah, fake yeah. list. They are not part of that flight log. That is a fake list circulating. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't actually know that. Um, really quick, so we have less than a minute left. Um, Jerry Harris from Cheer. That's another person that I was like, wait, what? You, I mean, he's being indicted for, for uh, I think it's 
find porn, which is crazy. Yeah, so, Netflix, Netflix is in the doghouse. Now cheer star Jerry Harris is arrested and the FBI Chicago office uh, on Tuesday announced that it was seeking the public's help on finding other possible victims in the investigation of, you know, cheer actors. So, so sad. He's 21 years old. That's what's really disturbing. Yeah, we have to wrap it up now, Zen. But that is so sad. I could literally talk to you forever. Um, we have a lot in common and we share a lot of the same views when it comes to this stuff. So thank you so much for joining us. Nico, 